something special. Uh, 20 carats solid gold. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video with the new Anastasia Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette. I believe they just launched this, I could be wrong, um, but honestly I had no idea that they were even launching this palette. I got it in PR and I did not expect to see a palette. Um, I don't know how I missed that. But yeah, so this is Soft Glam. I will show y'all what it looks like. It's like a mustardy um, yellow kind of. So when you open it, boom. Um, it's set up like all of the other palettes, pretty standard for them. Um, and these are pretty neutral. Um, these are just pretty much everyday shades, gonna be honest. Um, nothing too special about these. Oh, and there's a brush. So it comes with a brush, dual ended. One's like a blending brush on the other side. One is like a little, um, like a packer. So I will not be doing swatches. I know a lot of you guys, in my last video, my Jeffree Star video, um, really wanted swatches. But he never did swatches, so I guess it's understandable. But I know there's a lot of swatches on this eyeshadow palette um, all over Instagram and all the internet. So I won't do that because I don't like doing swatches. It's just a pain in the ass for me. So I already have my face completed um, and everything. I am using the new um, Emreezy highlighter by Anastasia. I forgot to use her bronzers. They sent me bronzers as well. I forgot to use them. I'm kind of mad at myself. But I'm um, using this highlighter, if y'all have seen this, um, I'm Reezy. This is like super pretty, look at that, bam. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get into a tutorial with the eyeshadow palette. Um, I do also wanna see if there's a lot of fallout like all the other eyeshadows. Okay, wait, a lot of these are from the Modern Renaissance palette, like Tempera, um, Burnt Orange, Cypress Umber. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this shade. Let's go ahead and dip into it, see how much fallout there is. Oh, not that much, not that much kickback. Okay, well the, bra um, the brush is coated and there's not a lot of like fallout. So I'm gonna take that shade and just put that all over the eyelid for a base. And I did put concealer and foundation on my eyelid as I'm creasing. So I'm gonna just set that with the eyeshadow as well. All right, so I'm gonna go with the shade Burnt Orange from the palette and I'm gonna put this in my crease as a transition shade. Once again, I'm gonna tap into it and see how much kickback there is. I mean, there is quite a bit but I don't think that's as bad. Mm, actually, that is kind of a lot. I mean, the brush is definitely coated. I don't know why Anastasia and them and Norvina are like not really listening to the fallout. I mean, they're freaking pigmented, as y'all can see. Can't deny that. There is a lot of kickback. There's a lot of kickback. But I mean, honestly, I'm not surprised because they're all like that. I don't know why, but the Anna, the Modern Renaissance is just, I don't know why it's not like that one. That one is just so good. Alright, I'm gonna grab these shade Dusty Rose right here and put that a little bit lower into the crease. Alright, now I'm gonna grab the brush that came with the eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna grab Mulberry up here in the corner and put this on the outer V of the eyelid. Alright, now I'm gonna grab the shade Sultry and I'm going to put that onto the eyelid. I'm gonna do this with that way of my brush first and see what it looks like. Um, that seems a lot darker than I was expecting. I thought that shade was gonna be a lot brighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with Rose Pink and go a little bit over that and see what that looks like. Alright, so with the shade bronze, I'm gonna go ahead and put that into the inner corner of my eye. So let's try this without any setting spray. That's not actually, that's not bad without setting spray. It's really pigmented. But I'm just gonna take it there and I'm gonna put setting spray on it just so it's a little extra. I'm gonna take that a little bit underneath the lower lash line and drag that in. I usually don't do this, I'm trying to do something different. So I'm gonna go with the shade Sienna and use that on the lower lash line. Damn, we're all three times. And I'm 
And I'll go back in with Mulberry, and I'm gonna put that right on the outer portion of the lower lash line and connect it with the eyelid. Alright guys, so here is the eyeshadow down. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just put on mascara, lashes, and do the other eye, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so the eyes are completed. I did do a wing liner off uh, camera just because it's easier to do off camera. And if you guys are curious, I did use the Anastasia gel liner and it's just black, obviously. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade Grim. It's like a, kind of like a dusty purple. Uh, 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 All right guys, so here is the finished look. It's kind of like a, um, a coppery smoky eye with a little bit of gold in the inner corner So I do think this palette is pretty I feel like I do the same thing if I have a neutral palette So I'm not the biggest fan of like neutral palettes like this I would suggest that you do your eyes before Using this palette because of course the fallout is a little ridiculous um, There's a lot of kickback so you do lose a lot of eyeshadow. So keep that in mind I don't know what Anastasia is doing with their eyeshadows now ever since subculture. It's just but like I said, it's pretty. If you guys are, if you guys like Anastasia, I mean they blend well. They're pigmented. It's just the fallout is. It's just ridiculous. Like why is there fallout? And why aren't they fixing it? But anyways, um, I enjoy this palette. I enjoy this look. So yeah, and yeah, this lipstick is pretty popping as well. This highlighter is by Amrezy. Hi right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, this little review slash demo. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Um, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Deuces.